Real Show. Y'all know me, I'm John. That's my man Wes behind the camera. This is The Really Real Show, season three, episode two. We focusing on black filmmakers. Y'all know this is Black Hollywood. So this episode, we got my man Terrence still gonna come through and show love. Georgia, Atlanta-based filmmaker, actor. We also got a very special, beautiful, lovely, elegant, all the adjectives you can think of. Natalie Joy Johnson is our co-host for this episode. She's gonna also hit you with your Emmy news, your love and hip hop news, your Miley Cyrus news. That's a topic in itself. Miley Cyrus is just like a 10 o'clock news topic, period. What Miley Cyrus do today, what did she put on the internet? You know how it goes. She's the hottest thing out right now. This is the really real show. I'm John, that's Wes. You can check us out on Facebook at Scorpion Fish Product Tons on Facebook. <laughs> My man, for you, Scorpion Fish, Scorpion Fish for Duck Tons. This is my man, Corey, on the soundboard. Soundboard engineer extraordinaire. This is a really real show, man. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to the Really Real Show. I'm your guest host, Natalie N. Joy Johnson. I have writer, director extraordinaire, Mr. Terrence Steele. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Good, good. So, um, the Industry wants to know all about, our people here in Atlanta wants to know all about the film industry. Tell us a little bit how you got your start. Um, well, I, I started off um, acting on stage at the University of Georgia. Um, they had a theater group there, and they're still there, the Black Theatrical Ensemble. Uh, so that's when I really got interested in drama. Uh, and then eventually I moved over, transitioned to film. I uh, had to choose a major, so um, I chose film, and then I studied film at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, where I really made my first short film there, uh, and that's really how I got, got into the industry after that. Wow, yeah. so you have about four or five films under your belt? How many? Um, you have? I have four, four, technically, on IMDb, so I have four, but before that, you know, total, I did some other projects, you know, for class, and, mm -hmm. you know, so I did a little bit more, but... Yeah, officially for And tell us about your latest film, Atlanta to New York, the romantic comedy. Yes, uh, it's called Atlanta to New York. It is a romantic comedy um, starring a lot of young actors here in Atlanta, Ladarian Raymond, uh, Breezy. I also worked with uh, Mr. Brian Michael on there as well. But basically, it's a romantic comedy about a young actor um, who's in love and he flies from Atlanta to New York to propose to his girlfriend. Along the way, uh, different obstacles get in the way that prevent him from popping a big question. So, um, yeah, we just finished that, so I'm still shopping that one around right now. Sounds interesting. So tell us a little bit more, you know, um, Atlanta is known as the Black Hollywood. What would you say some of the pros and cons um, being a director here in Atlanta? Um, well, some of the pros as far as working here in Atlanta is that uh, you can get a lot of people to do stuff for you for free. You know, there's a lot of actors who want experience. Uh, so if you're a new producer, that's, that's, that's really good. Um, and you can also shoot a lot of stuff here, you know, without needing, you know, the permits uh, per se. They won't bother you, so, sh you know, just keep that on the low. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, as far as the cons, you know, Atlanta can be a little cliquish. So, you know, that's one bad thing. But I think that might be, you know, about everywhere, really. Um, also, the industry, since it's still growing, there's, there's not a real set standard, you know, across the board as far as, you know, this is how your headshots should look, this, you know, this is how your reel should look. You know, it's not like, like that in L.A. and New York. They have more of a standard. Here in Atlanta, sometimes people, you know, do stuff that you wouldn't see in New York or L.A. They'd be like, you know, what is this or whatever. Uh, so that's that's some, kind of a bad thing, but I think that's just because you know the market's still growing, and I think in a few years everybody will kind of fall in line and start working, you know, kind of the same level. With that being said, what type of actor or actress do you typically look for or go for? Well, uh, we look for people as an independent producer. We definitely look for people who have a following uh, on the social networks, Twitter and Facebook. Uh, we also look for people who are reliable, independable, um, who have been in various projects, who have started and finished the project, and things like that, so that we know that they're going to show up for the shoot. Um, you know, and definitely people who are easy to work with. You know, we don't necessarily like people who are too much of a diva, uh, although I know actors and actresses can be like that. 
but you know we like for you know just kind of laid back people um, to make the the whole environment a little bit smoother. Is talent in there a little bit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the talent is definitely uh, definitely important. Uh, it just you know it really depends on some things. Sometimes you might cast an actor and actress based on how they look because they look more like the part, uh, and you feel like you can work with them. But if they you know if they totally suck at acting, of course. You know, you can't work with him. You need somebody that you can kind of work with. But you cast people based on various reasons. Right. So don't get discouraged. You may just not have the look. That's all. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. So tell us about what's, what you got going on next. Uh, well, right now I am working on a film. I'm still writing it. Uh, it's called Blank. Uh, that's the working title. Uh, and it's a baseball movie, a murder mystery about a baseball player who's accused of murdering his wife. Uh, she's a supermodel. And uh, he doesn't remember what happened that night. So the whole movie is kind of delving into his memory, trying to figure out what happened that night. Um, and so that's what I'm working on. And then also I'm working on an Indiegogo campaign uh, for an actor. His name's Brian Mott. Uh, he needs a kidney transplant. So we're going to help him raise money for that starting October 7th on Indiegogo. Oh, that sounds great. And again, thank you so much for being here. Can you tell the audience where we can find you? Yes, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Steel TV. That's S T E E L E T V. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook at Terrence V. Steel. Uh, and our YouTube channel is uh, backslash New Urban Cinema. All right, well, thanks again for coming out to the Really Real Show. We'll be right back after these messages. Message! Welcome back to The Really Real Show. I'm your guest host, Natalie N. Joy Johnson, your entertainment guru. Now, Grey's Anatomy star, Emily Pompeo, finally said what everyone's been thinking. The 2013 Emmys was outdated and no color? Go figure. And Love & Hip Hop Atlanta adds three new cast members. Guess who? But most importantly, who's leaving, <laughs> and there seems to be a rise in domestic violence amongst professional athletes. Jared Sullivan pinned his girlfriend down, and we know Chad Johnson head-butted his then-wife, Evelyn, and the infamous DeAndre Liggins threw an Xbox at his baby mama and a fan. He has since been released from Oklahoma. Now, if you thought twerking was bad, think again. Miley Cyrus videos, Wrecking Ball, has already reached 153 million views. That's more views than Beyonce single ladies did. Now, for more information on these stories, please visit enjoyjohnson.com without the E. And I'm your guest host, Natalie Enjoy Johnson, for The Really Real Show. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Really Real Show. Y'all know me, I'm John. My man Wes behind the camera. Not on camera. My man Wes. Y'all remember that. But uh, like I say, man, y'all know me, man. I gotta show my opinion. I gotta put it out there at the end of the show. This show, I'm squashing a sports debate that's been going on for way too long. It's the Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, who's a better quarterback debate. Please, ladies and non-sports fans, bear with me for just about a minute. I'm just going to, I just got to put this out there. Eli Manning and Peyton Manning, the only debate is who has the most Super Bowl rings. That's the only debate. Eli has the most Super Bowl rings. That has not changed yet. It's pending this year. Other than that, it's no contest. Go ask Eli Manning who's the better quarterback. He's going to say, my big brother Peyton is the better quarterback. That's it. That's it. That's Archie Manning. They daddy. Yeah, I think Peyton is a better quarterback. Yeah, I think so. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. The stats, you can't compare any stats. You compare playoff stats, Peyton have been 20, 21, 22 playoff games. Eli might have been 10, 15 playoff games, including two, the two Super Bowls. You're not including the defenses that, that Peyton had, that Eli had to win his Super Bowls. You're not including the miracle plays that Eli had, the slap head, touchdown, whatever, 50-yard pass, escaped four sacks at the same time to win the Super Bowl, man. It's not a comparison. My sports fans, Peyton Manning is a top five, maybe when he finished top two or three quarterback of all time. Eli Manning is a top 30 at best playoff, or just period, quarterback at all times. That's just how it go, man. Period. Squash the debate. 
Don't pay attention to ESPN and all the other BS or whatever about who's a better quarterback, blah, blah, about Super Bowl rings. Peyton got two appearances. Eli got two appearances. Eli won his two. Peyton won one out of two. That's it. It's no other debate. Peyton is a better quarterback. Easy. Easy. At 37 years old. We're going to move on, man. Fantasy football, I'm still dominating my league because I got Peyton Manning. Oh, yeah, by the way. I got Peyton Manning. I got Shady McCoy. That's it. Nobody else is standing a chance. I'm talking SHIT. I'm doing all I can do. I'm going to win this money easy. That's how it goes. That's how I like stuff. I like the really real show easy. I like my fantasy football easy. It's nothing. You got Peyton Manning on your team, MVP? I guarantee that. I'll bet anybody right now. Peyton Manning will win NFL MVP this year. Guarantee. I think it's going to be his 6 1. How many new Eli have? Nam, nutter. Six to Nam, nutter. ESPN. Check them all out, man. Atlanta Falcons is 1 2 right now on the way to play the Patriots Sunday night. We're going to be out that thing. We're going to win. Guaranteed. I'm not BSing with you. I don't play with you. Guaranteed the Falcons going to beat the Patriots this weekend. Guaranteed, Wes. Wes got an old baffled look on his face. Guaranteed. My man, Corey, back here, he probably might be snickering or drinking. or Who knows what he's doing? He going to win. He, yeah. Falcons this week. We're going to be out there. Guaranteed. Right. Atlanta Hawks. I show love to the home team. Starting camp this Monday. Sunday or Monday? I can't remember. Yeah, it's football season. Um, basketball starting camp this weekend. <laughs> uh, Kevin Durant and, and uh, Dwayne Wade got a little Twitter beef, man. Y'all check that out, man. <laughs> they got a little Twitter beef. Durant say Westbrook better than uh, Kevin, uh, better than Dwayne Wade. I, I personally agree nowadays. Dwayne Wade a little longer right now, too. Right now. Yeah. You know, Westbrook, I mean, not Westbrook, he said Harden. Du James Harden. Harden. Yeah, Harden. yeah. Harden. James Harden is better than uh, Dwayne Wade right now. Yeah, right now. You know, you know, you can't count the rings, but that's not fair. <laughs> but, you know, you can count the skills. Yeah, I shoot threes or whatever. You know, they're left-handed. You know, James Harden. Like I said, Falcons 1-2, be finna beat the Patriots this weekend. Be 2 and Everybody gonna be on their job. Baseball, Atlanta Braves, they just got into a brouhaha with the... With the with the Milwaukee Brewers, man, Carlos Gomez, you know, Paul Mahalam, some old fake beef that Carlos Gomez drew up or whatever, I don't know. End of the season, a lot of guys, you know, I get into it, I don't mind taking the suspension type deal. But Brian McCann, he bought that action, he bought that life, he bought that baseball life, you know what I'm saying? He bought that baseball life, and that about it. WNBA is in the conference finals, actually. Maybe finna win the first championship for Atlanta since 95. Who would have fuck it? They've been in the conference finals three out of the past four years, man. Angel McCautry, shout out, man. Love, man. All love, man. That girl got a hot head, but she got a wet jumper. You know what I'm saying? So, it's the really real show, man. Platform Studios show love to Platform Studios. My man, Wes. My man, Corey. Shout out to Natalie Joy Johnson, shout out to Terrence Steele for coming through and showing love. Man, y'all support your local black filmmakers, man. That's what it's all about, man. This is the black Hollywood. I know y'all done heard that. Support your local black filmmakers. Support the really real show. Shout out to my wife to be. I love you. As you already know, my baby, Jamise, I love you. I'm finna be a married man, y'all. I got the bubble guts. I don't know what to do. It was a game fight. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. It ain't nothing. I'm going through. It ain't I love my baby. I love my other baby. I love my family. I'm going to the trunk. I'm going to the trunk. I'm going to the trunk. Man Corey. Engineer extraordinaire. Engineer extraordinaire. Platform Studios. We appreciate y'all watching, man. ATL. Edgewood. Shout the hair off too, man. They got some bomb shit. And loaded they got the ball ball ball. It was quiet. It was really real no one was yeah. out playing. So, I held my music ready to do a little spraying. Somebody came out, I shot a bitch.